blood pressure is a really interesting thing um, because most people know how tall they are. Uh, they may know how much they weigh, but many people have no idea what their blood pressure is. And there's this common notion that blood pressure is sort of the same number, that your blood pressure is always the same from moment to moment. A normal person's blood pressure goes up when they exercise and goes down when they're at rest or sleeping. It also can go up with anxiety. There's some driver for blood pressure with anxiety. And it's important, therefore, for people to know what their blood pressure range is. It's all individualized and it's a moving target, so I think uh, as long as we know that our numbers are relatively safe and not in that excessive range. Uh, as far as cholesterol, that has been a, a somewhat of a moving target, but more toward the lower end of numbers because we found out that no level of bad cholesterol is too low to have, but there are numbers that are too high to have. The lower the blood pressure and the lower the cholesterol, you know, all comers, I think is a good thing. Um, and so I try to drive the cholesterol down on, on my heart patients as low as I possibly can. And I try to get their blood pressure down to a safe, um, to a safe target uh, zone. So it's important to know what current numbers are and how they fit within the guidelines. And discussing your relative risk with your provider. Because if you're a you know, 25 year old runner with an LDL or a bad cholesterol of 110, that's not a bad cholesterol for that person. Maybe it'd be nice to be lower. But if you just had your second stent and your bad cholesterol is 110, that's way off base and you need to work on getting that lower.